girls very, very nervous. Azerbaijan. So here we go. With Rodionova and Anishenko representing Azerbaijan. Their free skating program to the 1812 Overture. Inga 17, Alexander age 22. It's very powerful music for a, for a new team. It'll be interesting to see if they can uh, carry this music through to the finish. Split triple twist and she did make it. Side by side, triple toes. He's only done the double. She's just managed to get the triple done. We're finding all the pairs doing their very big tricks up front of the program before they get too tired. Hand to hand loop. Same lift that they showed in the short program. And that's the first throw jump that we've seen. Throw triple sail, done well. This is the first of the pair spins in the free program. They must do two pair spins. And a spiral sequence. Although, I must say, Sandy, that's not my favourite move. And they're going to attempt, try, throw a triple toe. But she, yeah, whoops, it's a double. That'll happen quite frequently through the night where they're intending to do the triple and they pop it to the double. Overhead lift. Small one-handed. Belinda, when the judges are watching pairs, can they often just be watching one of the skaters and miss what the other has done? <laughs> All of us missed that with Stephen and Danielle uh, the other night. He also did a double sauk instead of the triple. We were all watching Danielle. Sergey missed it, I missed it. and the key in pairs and of course the Russians have been so strong in that department it's been a feature of their pair skating for many many years but they'll be coming up a little bit later on tonight as will Stephen and Danielle yes yeah, not long not long until they come on the ice they'll be on the ice in the very next warm-up like the rest of Australia we can't wait back outside death spiral he's all the way down in the pivot Often seen pairs um, like this team that look a little weak at this stage and come back in two years and almost blow the competition away. And they're certainly in a fantastic training environment in Moscow. So we'll see what happens to this pair. Well, they've only been on the national team for two years. Getting a little tired now, I think. It's a big ask. A long program is four and a half minutes long need to be very fit. Double flip, turn into double loop. It's the required jump sequence. And the second death spiral. No, it's not going to be the death spiral. The second combination spin.
opening the night, Inga Rodionova and Alexander Anachenko of Azerbaijan. 19th in the short program. And a good performance to open proceedings. Well, you know, really, probably, um, they'll, they really couldn't have skated a whole lot better. They no. did the um, throw triple Salco. They did open up with a split triple twist. It's the pair quality in this team that is, uh, that's missing at this point. As they're taking the bows, the next skaters will be coming on to start a sort of small mini warm-up. But all they need, I mean, experience is the thing that's missing, isn't it? Here's the they're triple toe. Watch the boy. Only two revolutions, and she's actually two-footed hers at the same time. And the lasso lift. And to a one-handed position. Very quickly. And away. Both coached by Vladimir Zakharov. Yes, they really don't train. You know, their biographies are saying that they train only 12 hours a week in the winter, which is probably almost a third of... Yeah, what most are doing. Most are sort of a minimum of 25 to 30. Yes, well, I think that shows. I mean, you don't know what sort of study commitments that they have, and uh, they may extend that as time goes on. So their wait now begins in the kiss and cry area. And the mix zone just behind it all the results to come up. Well, I don't think they look Mom like they're crying. Me, yes, he looks there, they're quite happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's tough to skate first, and uh, and nobody beautiful. likes to. And, and as I said before, we have a very small weight while the judges uh, average the mark, and the referee will let the judge know, each judge know what the highest and lowest is. There's our first mark for technical merit. <laughs> It's a high of 4.6 uh, and a low of 4.3. Technical merit. Ukraine also with a 4.6. I think that that's around about the right sort of four, marks, four, Sandy. Four, six, four, Our three, Australian 4.4. Four, four, that's Don McKnight four, five, from Queensland. Four, five, mm. four, four, I'm going to be watching the Canadian four, five, judge tonight four, because I was... Um, I agreed. <laughs> 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 Canadian judge in the short program. And, of course, all first places. It's a majority system. Absolute majority, and at the moment they have an absolute majority. And of course, uh, being first out, I mean, the judges are going to take their time, they're going to have a good look and start perhaps a little lower and gradually build. Well, what they need to do is give themselves a good range so yeah. they don't get stuck. Set themselves a target and a balance. Mm. 